What is up you guys? Welcome back to the channel. Coming at you with yet again another perfume experience. And today we're changing the perfume house just to kind of get a change in pace here and just my nostrils would like to smell something different and new that I haven't smelt in a while. So as per the title below, we are covering uh, the house of Memo and in particular we are covering Sentra from this house. And if you guys have seen my previous inlay upload, you'll know that Memo is one of my favorite houses uh, out there. It is French perfumery, which is my favorite perfumery style. And as you can tell, I've pretty much went ahead and used uh, two, th two thirds of this sampler. This is how much I like this house and how much I love Sentra. So as per usual, we will go over the perfume uh, notes slash musing from the House of Memo, Paris. Then we're gonna go through the perfume experience, excuse me. And uh, yeah, we shall get started. And as per tradition on this channel, make sure to grab your favorite snack, munchies or bevy or cafe. In my case, I have some Panamanian coffee beans extracted here in a Nespresso shot. And uh, it's kind of my take on an Americano, less water than usual. <sighs> yeah, that's rocket fuel right there. I'm not sleeping tonight. <laughs> okay, so, Sintra, sweet spiral. Around the corner from a palace, an unexpected rainforest. Like a reminiscence of childhood with its notes of orange blossom, vanilla, and marshmallow musk. Sintra has a very round floral and fruity sweetness. Deliciously light, resolutely addictive, soft and colorful walk and you know what it's short and sweet and pretty much three major notes in here and uh, yeah i agree with everything they say so far having used two-thirds of it i'm kind of reluctant to spray some of it now and to just go through uh smelling it through the bottle but you know what i'm gonna get a full bottle of this just because i love it so much so what the hell here we go you guys just for you all right, so, oh man, that was a lot. <laughs> okay, uh, I am not showering today, that's for sure, because I'd like to smell like this for eternity if I can. Wow, okay. So, as you guys can tell, the sampler, or maybe you can't, I don't know, I'm hoping you can. The sampler sprayer is very generous, so the spray print is about this big right here. Uh, even though the juice is orangish, it actually does not leave an orangish stain once you spray it. It is slightly oily uh, and resinous in its composition, so you are gonna have a bit of oil there once you do spray it, but uh, overall, clean spray, uh, no actual color that would stain any of your whites. Man, let me tell you something. Oh man, it's like... It smells so good, you guys. <laughs> wow. <laughs> God, this is so nice! Wow. God damn. It smells good. So, off of the bat, without saying anything else, I'm just gonna say, get your nose on it, get your wallet on it, cop it, because it's fantastic, okay? There is nothing bad about this. It's 100% recommend off of the get-go before we get into any details. Wow. I really love this house. They're just 
Wow. First of all, let me profess this. This is probably the only perfume I know of that has marshmallow musk, <laughs> okay? <laughs> I'm not even sure what that means other than the fact that it smells like marshmallows. And you do get that here, like really nice expensive marshmallows, like the, the sort of confectionery type, not the, uh, the typical grocery store stuff that's corn syrup, cheap corn syrup. This is more like high-end confectionery marshmallows that you're paying a few dollars for or tenth of dollars for. Uh, there's definitely the orange blossom in here. This to die for as well as the vanilla. I mean, this is perfect. There's absolutely nothing wrong with this perfume. <sighs> wow. Okay, um, what else is there? There's florals in there, definitely. So you do get a slight hint of florals, but it's not like a, those sort of florals that are indolic, but rather jammy florals. So think of spring in you know, somewhere in the Mediterranean or somewhere in Southern Africa. And there's a lot of flowers blooming and opening and coming up. And the air during the day, afternoon and evening carries the scent of those florals with the breathe. Very nice florals, more on the reddish orangish side. Very jammy. Just fantastic. Like, just perfect, perfect scent. Wow, so good, you guys. Okay. All right, so in terms of strength of the perfume from a performance standpoint, I'm going to give it medium to strong with a bias more towards strong in terms of projection, trail and silage, but the reason I'm gonna err on the side of medium is just because, again, even though it's projecting fairly well off of the, my skin towards my nose, it is not beast mode. And for me, strong has to be beast mode, kind of like Frederick Mal the Moon, which is just delightfully obnoxious, okay? So with this one, I'm gonna say medium to strong with a more of a bias towards strong in terms of uh, your projection trail and silage. In terms of, you know, the projection, people are definitely going to smell it off of you from a distance. Trail and silage, you're going to have a waft right behind you, a cloud of it. And wherever you've been, you're going to leave that scent in that area long after you're gone. Okay? So strong, you know, medium to strong with more bias towards strong. In terms of gender, again, I'm going to emphasize it again. This is more uh, feminine leaning, definitely. It's more on the gourmandish side. It's more on the floral side. It's more on the playful feminine. And again, as a guy, you can wear it. But again, just it's more feminine leaning. So just something to be cognizant of, which there's nothing wrong with that. I enjoy wearing it, enjoying it, smelling it on people I love and care for. So yeah, so just keep in mind, it is more feminine leaning. Now, in terms of <clears throat> how you would wear this, honestly, this is such a versatile scent uh, that you can wear it formally or casually, okay? And again, as long as you're wearing it tastefully, uh, I don't see any issues with wearing it casual, right? And the reason I say casual is because it's such a playful scent, it's such a youthful, gourmandish scent, so you can pull it off casually. By casual, I don't mean a hoodie and um, and track pants, but I mean more like a nice crop top for the ladies and the jeans or shorts, you know, whatever your um, sort of aesthetic, if pleasing aesthetic, if you wish or will. So this will do very well casually and formally. You can also pull it off in more of a formal dress, like an evening dress or, a, you know, uh, a suit you know, those lady suits, you're going to do very well with that. In terms of guys, I'm going to go ahead and say it's the same thing. You know, you can pull it off casually. So if you're wearing a nice long linen shirt and shorts and uh, nice slippers on the beach, or you can pull it off with a suit too. 
so it definitely wears either way. Uh, it really depends on how you want to wear it, but it has versatility in that sense. Okay. In terms of seasonality, this one is interesting because it has cold and warm facets. Okay. So it can really go well in the winter and fall just because of the warmness in it from the marshmallow musk as well as the orange blossom and the vanilla, which give it a very gourmandish touch. Or you can wear it in uh, warmer weathers like summer and spring, where the florals in here are gonna pop up and really shine brightly. The one thing I will say is that because this is more on the warmer musky side, be cautious of spraying too much on a hot summer day, okay? Otherwise it's gonna be overkill. Now, in terms of context okay i don't recommend this in the office unless you want to get harassed okay be it for guys or gals you know you don't want to walk around smelling like something that's tasty right so i'm gonna go ahead and say this isn't suitable for the office okay i wouldn't wear this in the office because i know for a fact that people won't stop commenting silly comments and ridiculous comments and i don't want to do that to myself I wouldn't wear it to a club either because it's so classy for a club. I, I mean, putting it in a club is just, it's not the scene for it, okay? However, if you are somewhere on a beach vacation where it's a resort or somewhere in the Mediterranean or somewhere that's just nice and classy in the Caribbean, be it, you know, the British Virgin Islands or, you know, the Caymans or Barbados or the Bahamas or... Turks and Caicos, or I don't know what else, Bora Bora, French Polynesia, or the Cook Islands somewhere in like off of Australia. And uh, you know, you're in a luxury resort having a nice villa overlooking turquoise waters. This is your scent, guy or gal, this is your scent, okay? You are gonna thoroughly enjoy that scent in an atmosphere like that. It's refined, it's elegant, it's luxurious, it's playful, it's laid back, it's feminine leaning. Why wouldn't you wanna enjoy it in the middle of nature, okay? God, it's so good. I would say this is really a good scent for date night also. So, and I'm gonna go ahead and say, not just for the ladies, the ladies obviously is gonna make you much more enticing to your partner. I'm gonna go ahead and say that guys, if you wear this also on date night, I'd imagine that you're gonna be much more attractive and captivating uh, to your lady friend because, well, lady friend, girlfriend, uh, potential <laughs> spouse, whatever it may be. But the reason I say that is that Typically, most guys will put on very green, aggressive, vetiver, oak moth, in your face sort of perfumes. And I'd imagine for some ladies that are fed up of that, this will be a welcome change uh, to their nostrils, especially if you have something that's very familiar to them and recognizable more on the feminine softer side, but you're still kind of presenting yourself in a more masculine manner. I don't know. I mean, seems seems like something that could work um i would have asked for the ladies opinion on this channel but most of you are dudes <laughs> so uh nothing wrong with that but it would have been nice to have the input there but yeah so i actually would wear that on a date night just to change things up a bit for whoever i'm going out on the date with so that's a good context to wear it in it too it's a nice scent also to wear going shopping because if you are going Let's say to Louis Vuitton or Dior or Burberry or Chanel or anywhere where you're doing your fancy shopping and you want to feel extra bougie. Put a few sprays of this. It is bougie. It is luxurious. We can go as far as saying as opulent, but I think you get what I'm trying to say here. It's one of those scents that will get you spending more <laughs> than you ever had wished to spend, okay? So, yeah. It's it's fantastic scent from Memo, Centra, and uh, nothing, nothing, nothing but the best positive feedback I have on this. And like I said, once this is over, I'm copying a full bottle and I might do another upload with the full bottle once I do get it. But I think what I'm gonna do is wrap it up here, you guys. And uh, as per usual, 
very much appreciate your time and attention and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.